I've been getting a lot of requests to do some kind of a key binding tutorial, so I'm going to give you a little quick one. And if you have Bartender, it's really easy. Get a Bartender and then do the key bindings, and you can mouse over each one of them and then set it to a key lock. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> okay, before you get down key bindings, you got to get that movement. So if you're like, if you use the arrow keys to move, you really limiting yourself and also if you use a keyboard to turn it's just like it's horrible you're not you're not going quick at all so basically you just got to move forward and then left and right like this and then turn if you want to left and right like that with your mouse while holding down the right mouse button also it's really helpful to get a mouse with a lot of binds like a lot of buttons this is my mouse and the mouse button left, that's throw, that's vanish. Um, this is my ghostly strike right now. This is deadly throw. This held down like that. Let's go. So this held down like that, that's my fan of knives. Pushed in like that is exposed armor. And basically that's it. Okay, so my keybinds go MO and number one. And my gouge macro, which uh, either gets me in the stealth when I'm out of combat or gouges is number two. The eviscerate is number three. Number four is kidney shot. Five is my kick. Six is my slice and dice. Seven, seven is my sprint. And then eight. You gotta practice that if you wanna hit number eight. Just like, I wanna keep doing that. Um, it's all about muscle memory, really. Like, it took me a while to really get <coughs> key binds down. And Y is my shift. Shift somebody. H is my blind. X is my preparation. Z is my cold blood. F2 is my evasion. F is my shadow step. This tilde thing is my cloak of shadows. Shift F is my disarm. That's my ghostly strike on my mouse, and then B is my shadow meld. And basically, I'll, uh, I'll show you how it is to um, do a duel, I guess. See if anybody's dueling out here. Okay. I always wait for the kidney shot, but I guess she's letting us play right now. They're gonna trinket that, so we're gonna vanish cheap shot. Try back, get back into stealth if you can. Evasion so she can't disarm you. Trinket that. Yeah, there we go. I didn't really use shadow stuff that much at all because I didn't, but that's uh ah uh, crap. Well, I wasn't recording on Fraps, so I guess we're going to do that again. Alright, yeah. Let's try to warm up the hands. Always expect the worst from everything. And I got set. Never trick it out of that. <laughs> okay. We got that. Disarm her, vanish, cheap shot. Nope, couldn't get that off, so I'm gonna blind her. She trick it out, out so I bleed her. Right here when you're low on health is a good reason to use shadow step defensively. You're gonna run away from the target and then shadow step them. And usually go in the opposite direction, but here I got into stealth so I can get an opener on her and pretty much win the duel after that. And cold blood eviscerate. There we go. See, when you make mistakes like that, I made a ton of mistakes there. I wasn't really good, but um, you gotta adjust for what you make. You gotta realize your mistakes as you're making them. And if you can adjust quick enough, then you could win. So when you try this for the first time, you're not—it's not gonna feel normal to you if you if you don't already keybind. 
So, what you want to do is shake a can, of, shake a can of Pringles, and then go back to your keyboard and realize that you gotta just keep practicing this and just keep trying over and over until it feels normal to you. If you don't have any keybinds at all right now, it'd be helpful to just make one or two keybinds and then just keep going with that, and keep practicing it. It's just it's all about muscle memory. All right, well that was my uh, keybind video. And uh, I hope you learned something if you needed to learn something. If not, then you probably already know all this stuff. And you're probably saying, hey, five shot, I already know this. So you suck. But I'm like, well, fuck your mom. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed this. And my voice is about to go demonic, so... <laughs>